Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to create parallax effect in Elementor. So let's begin. All right. So to create the parallax effect, you don't have to install anything. You just have to go to the pages wherever you want to put this. So I'm gonna go here into all pages. So in here, since I've already created the page, so I just simply click on Edit with Elementor. All right. So here. How we can create the effect that is really easy. First of all, I will need to create two container here. Uh, so let's just do this really quickly. So we're going to put the container here. It will be full width. I need to add the color here. So that would be a kind of grayish color. And I would also need to change the pairing here. So that would be zero. All right. So now what I need to do. I have to change the height here. So that would be 100 VH. So this simply covers the full height of your screen. Okay. So I would need to use the heading now. So let's put this one. The text color would be white. It would be into center. And in the typography, I will use small straight. And here in the text, I'm going to use 300. Okay. And now what I need to do, I would click on the container and I wanted to put this into center. Okay. So I will simply need to create one more container just like this. So I just simply do the right click, uh, do the duplicate here and we will have our second container. And I will change the value here to the two. That's it. Okay. So after this, I will need to add one more container in which we will be using our parallax effect. So let's just add the container here. So now I need to open up the navigator. I need to put this container in between our container one and container two. Okay. And let's just add the full width here. And this will have zero padding. And after this, I will need to use the image as a background. So let's choose the image. So I'll go here with this image. So let's select this. All right. So first thing that I need to do, I have to go into the layout and this would be 100 VH2. All right. So this is looking better. And now I need to fix the style of the image. So the display size would be cover. And here in the attachment, you have to change the value to the fixed. All right. And now if I just scroll down, you will be able to see that we are having parallax effect on our image. All right, so you can see this. All right, so now I need to do the same thing with the text on our image. Okay, so let's just add the text here. So let's just add the heading here. So this would be parallax, and I would like to have maybe a darker color. Okay, that is looking fine. We can go here with the blue color, maybe. Okay, so that is looking fine. And I want to change the typography. So let's just change the font here, small straight and the size would be 200. Okay. So this is looking fine. All right. So now if I just scroll down, you will be able to see that we are having the effect, the parallax effect on our image, but not on our text or the heading. So how can we do this? That is really easy. You just have to go into the advanced setting of the text. And here you can see the option of position. So you have to change the value to the fixed and here now you just have to adjust the value of the offset. So I'm going to put this into the center, maybe here. Yeah, that will look fine. And in horizontal, maybe. Okay. So I think it would look better here onto the left side. All right. So now if I just scroll down, you will be able to see that we are also having the parallax effect on our adding. But there is a problem here that it is actually coming up over other containers. So how can we resolve this? That is really easy. So it is coming up on the container number one. So let's just click here. We need to go into the advance. And here you just have to add the Z index value. Okay. So that would be two. And now we're going to have the same issue. So we have to change the value of Z index in the container two as well. Okay. So let's just put this. So this would be two as well. All right, so now this is looking better. I would like to change the color here. So I would go here with the white color. Okay, so now this is looking better. All right, so this is how we can have our 
parallax effect in elementor so let's just update this and go into the preview changes now if you just scroll down you will be able to see our parallax effect so this is how we can create the parallax effect in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel